YT News starts now with breaking news. Good evening to you. We are following devastating news tonight for the University of Kentucky basketball program. Terrence Clark has died after a car crash earlier today in Los Angeles. WKYT's Lee K. Howard has the breaking details. Lee K. Sam and Amber, this is heartbreaking news. We've learned that the NBA draft prospect was killed earlier today in a car crash after a source told us that he had been working out with B.J. Boston. We've been working to learn what happened for the last couple of hours, and here's what Los Angeles police could tell us. A sergeant in the Valley Traffic Division told us the crash happened at 2.10 Pacific time, so 5.10 this evening on the East Coast. It happened on Winnica Avenue at the intersection of Nordoff Street. We have it pointed out right here on this map. It's in a neighborhood in the West Central San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles. Police tell us 19 year old Clark was driving at a high rate of speed when he ran a red light. They say that he hit another car turning left. Then Clark went on to hit a pole and a block wall. Police say surveillance cameras on a nearby house captured the accident. That sergeant told us that Clark was taken to Northridge Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, Clark and Boston had both recently signed with the same agent, Clutch Sports. Last season, Clark averaged 10 points and three rebounds during Kentucky's first seven games, including a career-high 22 points and a loss to Georgia Tech. Clark then missed 17 games with a foot injury before returning in the SEC tournament. Clark was a Boston native, and tonight Celtics head coach Brad Stevens reacted to the news after their game. To be honest, as I was walking down the hallway, I just heard this news about Terrence Clark, and um, not sure how much I'd want to talk about the game um, when you when you consider it a Boston kid, you know, I don't know what's, what's real yet. I have not heard anything confirmed, but I've read what you've read and, you know, those kids are important to us here. And, you know, I didn't, you know, I've never met him. You know, my son looks up to him and, um, hard to talk about a basketball game with, with even the idea that that's floating out there and, yeah, police also told us that Clark was not properly wearing a seatbelt. The sergeant did say that he was the only person in the car and no other injuries were reported. A source told us that B.J. Boston was reportedly in a car behind him. Of course, our condolences are pouring in and they're pouring in on social media. Earlier, we talked to legendary U.K. basketball player Jack Goose Givens, who is also on the U.K. network broadcast. And he told us that even though the broadcast team was limited in their contact with the players this season, he called called this loss heartbreaking and tragic. Sam and Amber, back to you. Like you said, Lee Kay, more condolences are coming in tonight. This statement now just in late tonight from UK head coach John Calipari. In part, he says, quote, I am absolutely gutted and sick tonight. He went on to say this is a life lost too soon. Calipari also said, quote, to hear we have lost him is just hard for all of us to comprehend right now. We are all in shock, end quote. Calipari said he's going to Los Angeles to be with Clark's mother and brother to help. Former UK Wildcat Tyrese Maxey saying tonight his heart is extremely heavy right now. Quote, prayers up to my man Terrence Clark's family. And UofL head coach Chris Mack also sending condolences to the family of Terrence Clark. In a tweet, Mack says he and his family are praying for Clark's teammates, coaches, and the entire UK basketball community. Our team will continue to follow this on WKYT.com and inside the WKYT News app.